Well, for almost two years, the track shelter in East Spokane has been a place to stay for hundreds experiencing homelessness. It was part of the plan by former Mayor Nadine Woodward's administration to address the city's homelessness crisis. After conducting an audit of the city's shelter system, Mayor Lisa Brown's administration plans to decommission it. Bronte Sorotsky explains why and what's next for the people staying there. By September, people staying at this shelter will need to find a new place to live. This comes as the city is looking to transition people into smaller scattered shelters throughout the city. You know, we, we know that the best practice is to not have large congregate shelter models. Yet for nearly two years, the track shelter with capacity to house over 200 people was part of the city's plan to address its growing homeless population. With a new mayor, that plan is changing. But a better solution would be smaller scattered site shelters. These smaller shelters would only house about 20 to 30 people each. We also know that in smaller models, the, the impact on the surrounding neighborhood is, is much, much different um, than when you've got 200 plus people in one location. Advocates for those experiencing homelessness are left wondering why this wasn't the plan all along. It never should have been opened in the first place. And so the idea of eventually decommissioning the shelter and moving to a different small scale model as opposed to this large congregate shelter model. Um, that's always been our goal. Despite this move towards smaller scattered shelters, questions remain about how soon this can be done. We don't have any sites. You haven't brought the surrounding community around those sites up to speed on what's going on. Community relations is going to be key. The mayor's office wants to complete these transitions by the end of September, but has not yet identified where these new shelters will be or who will operate them. Reporting in Spokane, Bronte Sorodsky, 4 News Now.